Yo, it's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some unfortunate news to report when it comes down to DJ K. Slate, man. R.I.P. K. Slate, man. Definitely a hip-hop icon inside of this culture we call hip-hop. You feel me? Years and years of work that he put in, you know, but it's being confirmed by uh, WAC 100 as well as, you know, behind the scenes. We got other people that confirm it, you know what I mean? And, um... Uh, Shout out Gene Deal, man. Prayers up to his family. Prayers up to everybody that's involved, you feel me? Uh, when it comes down to his legacy, you know, um, seeing everything move forward. But um, DJ K. Slay has been reportedly, man, it's RIP. And a lot of people don't know he was fighting some things during the whole pandemic situation. And, you know, since then they had took him off, you know, they say ventilators and you know, at first he wasn't really moving so much, they say, right? But um, once they, they, they said the reason they took him off is because of this particular reason that he was able to move more. You know, they thinking he good. Then out of nowhere, we hear this, man. He's passing. So definitely prayers up to his family. This is definitely an unfortunate situation for hip-hop. Hip-hop definitely going to be hit by this, man. You know, um, years and years or the work that he put in and his impact on the culture not just affect, you know, your generation or, you know, this particular generation. It affects all the generations because he's been around through it all. You feel me? And, um, you know, he kept his head up. You know, he definitely had a battle that he was fighting, you know, when it comes to what we just spoke about. But, you know, just put his family in prayers and R.I.P. DJ K. Slay, man. Salute, man.